hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting adobe audition tutorial and this tutorial i'm gonna teach you how to correct your pitch automatically with a pitch corrector effect in audition and if a client asks you to correct the pitch of his audio or or the video there or the audio that is embedded in a video and you do not know how to correct his and the pitch of the audio manually then this is a great time saver and a great helper of course it depends on your client if he is a professional then he might want a little bit more out of this uh, pitch uh, this uh, effect that automatically corrects it and he might ask you to do a little bit more refining but most of the time i think nine out of ten time uh, the pitch is corrected extremely well by this effect so let's just do it i have brought up this audio file which was embedded with this audio for video which is a video of one of our past tutorial and the waveform you can see in here uh, we, can, we are going to apply the pitch automatic pitch corrector to it there are two ways of applying automatic pitch corrector to it one is through the effect menu the other is through the uh, effect check. but i'm going to opt to it's always a great idea to apply it through the effect track because it's a non-destructive way but i'm going to apply it through the effect menu because i want you to see the visual change in here if we apply it through here then we have to bring our preview editor otherwise the effect would not be noticeable or would not be shown in here so let's go here go to time and pitch option and then come here to this option which says automatic pitch correction as you can see there are few more you know uh, options manual pitch correction which we might uh, do which i might do a tutorial about in the future with videos hopefully so let's uh, click on the automatic pitch correction and this window pops up there are few you know presets given here a minor c major extreme correction set a local correction you know c major is i think fine of course you can change the stuff in here uh, major means it's the scale key means it's whether c a b and many of them if you have work in the music industry or you know about any of these things then these might be familiar to you but if you have, do not know anything about sound and music and stuff like that then these things might not make that much sense to you you are better off googling it googling them on the net but uh, i am uh, thinking of uh, making uh, entire tutorial series if you guys are interested let me know in the comment section uh, i'm going to make an entire tutorial series about the sounds and harmonies and melodies and what good sound is what bad sound is and how to make music and stuff on all the technical stuff and the terminology if you guys are interested in it let me know in the comment section and in the future i hopefully if i have time i will make an entire course about it so you guys can learn better okay below these keys there is two more parameters or sliders one is attack other is sensitivity sensitivity the attack means that okay how fast or how slow does it attack or correct each note or each frequency you know if it's slower it's gonna correct it faster and if it is not then it's gonna be a little bit you know uh, legs you know it's gonna take some time after correction one and two okay so sensitivity means that do you want your correction to be very precise so if you do want that then drag this slider to the left and make it really low quantity if you want this video to be legs and not to be very strict i mean yeah, the pitch correction effect which will have a lot of impact on your software i mean and so impact in terms of you know it will have to work with really hard <clears throat> but i think in the middle video 10 10 i want 10 is okay i think <clears throat> it does a really good job and you do not have to go beyond or below this okay uh, maybe if your audio is a really terrible pitch then maybe the average value will not make it correct then you have to go for a little bit more uh, a strict sensitivity 
okay the other thing is the reference channel okay which reference channel that you want to apply to the left channel or the right channel because this is a studio as you can see two waveforms so you can apply these and choose your channel which channel that you want this picture correction to be applied to okay at the moment it's applied to left we're gonna leave it at the left the other is the fft size which means for a spheral transfer size which means that uh, these numbers is actually these are the sample rate that how much sample rate they did you take small sample rate or big sample rate if you are working with some sound or music okay that is very high frequency then you are better off uh, you know working with a smaller video but if you are working with vocals you mean spoken words then 2000 and 4000 is higher value is better okay calibration for a which means that uh, at which hertz or at which uh, you know uh, frequency that you should calibrate okay a 440 is given by default and i'm going to leave it here this meter shows the range at the which correction takes place which sense that it uh, corrects and by how much does it correct it i'm going to hit apply and now there was a subtle change but it was not that much noticeable it was not that much noticeable because it's not a change in that much in amplitude you know because that it would have a drastic effect or, or if we are applying any fair effect that it would change or alter our waveform too much pitch correction are al al almost always happens on a very small quantity or some one values so that's why there is not much difference in the uh, waveform but if i control z you will notice very little difference in here okay if you play pay close attention to this area i'm gonna hit control z as you can see now control uh, control shift z to redo it control z control shift z control z as you can see a little bit of difference is there there's much uh, shift correction pitch correction actually requires uh, you know the adjustment of dvs it does not require 10 dvs to correct the pitch you know it requires 10 dvs to correct the pitch then you are better off making a new audio because uh, there is a very little chance of correcting that terrible pitch so let's listen to it as you can see my sound is not that melodious and i'm never gonna get an oscar for my sound but uh, whatever sound that you are given by nature you cannot alter it and you can only apply tricks like this pitch collection and other stuff in audition to make it a little bit better okay so with that said i take my leave from you in this tutorial we learn how to automatically correct our pitch in the future tutorial we're gonna learn that to do how to do that manually and with more precision until then i take my leave and say goodbye to you good night